hi 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 it's Aya here and so in today um, video I will show you how we can create a release note as a business analyst so without further ado let's jump right to the tutorial okay so um, just some head ups um, this is not a definitive way to do this because the format depends on um, the company you are working for but um, this can apply the best practice after I have consulted um, a lot of um, articles on the internet of how people would include which information in the release note so this is what I normally do okay so you open the spreadsheet and we have the three tab here so the first one is the overview which is the yeah basically the overview of the uh, app for the stakeholder who are not uh, really um, really concerned with the technical side they just want to have like an over overall idea what to expect um, and next you have the detail which is the more kind of in-depth of the overview and the laptop is the no bug and limitation which uh, includes the bugs that you haven't uh, you have found the, the QC and the QA engineers have found but you um, haven't fixed yet okay so first uh, let's go to the overview tab okay so first off I will talk about the overview tab so as usual we have the name of the document the name of the app the name of the project uh, created by effective days and the version uh, finally we have the overview so for the overview one normally you will see this one on the app store um, which um, give the ideas of uh, which features is uh, new in this version so this one is very brief and straight to the point um, and let's uh, let everyone know that uh, what you can see in detail in the second time okay so for this one we have the item to be released today in the version which is consistent with uh, the first one here and then we would um, have this column so the first one is the chain um, so normally for the chains there are three categories with the new features the box and the improvement secondly you have the package okay so for the package this is mobile or a web app or the admin bottle um, next we have the module so the module is the high level requirement features uh, the feature name the sub feature the diffusion and the note okay so this one is kind of the same as the feature list I mentioned in the four tutorial I guess um, okay so let's go through this one so first one we will have to mention about the new feature um, so um, you have to construct this one exactly like the feature list so for example for the mobile uh, you just uh, implement implemented the Z2 screen so the detail in the payment screen which is the uh, sorry the detail which is this one and the payment one is this one of course mm. okay so back again you will uh, need to include the detail of um, the features that the user can um, interact with the app so for example view the detail screen select the number of the item to be added select the topping add to cart and for the payment you have to add a payment okay so you have to add the credit card number cpv date expiry and sort of message for the description so as usual i would put the um, user story here so as a user I want uh, to do something and so that I can achieve something okay and the note here is the things that uh, need to be noted so for example um, select the topping so if the user doesn't select the topping the default um, up the default for this one would be the first topping showing and for the payment uh, for we support Visa and Mastercard it will be included in the note here as well okay so this is um, for the mobile and for the admin 
uh, it's still the same so if you implemented the authentication module uh, you would write all the features of the authentication for example login and sign out uh, which interaction you can have in the login okay and uh, because it is the admin portal account so you have to give them the master account but be careful not to expose this information to the end user next we have um, the second change which is the what is this? Uh, which is the improvement so you may have the improvement on the mobile package so for example on the general module you improve the time uh, loaded between screen for example it used to be uh, more than two seconds now you can take a note and okay and say that uh, oh, wait. okay so you can take a note and say that low screen up the screen is less than one second so this one is an unfunctional requirement next uh, this one is also a function uh, a non-functional requirement so you support more image extension so you also note here uh, which is the new extension that you support for example you say um, support gbg gbg cbg png and ntg i'm sorry <laughs> um so next so that is the second category which is improvement and the last one normally you have to include uh, imp uh, include the box that are fixed that is fixed in this uh, release so for the mobile for example for the your card here so uh, you, you would need to um, cite the box which is item isn't removed when the user reduce the amount of item to zero uh, for example in the add card here if you produce one to zero it will be automatically removed from the card and authentication the forgot email isn't sending okay so this one you just name the box um, here okay so this is a detail tab next we will go to the no box and okay so for the no box and limitation so uh, it would have the order of the box the name of it the type and the severity and the note uh, so here you will start to so the first one which is login through good go is yes functioning which is um, login through the third party authentication uh, I mean here so if it's not functioning you have to include it here but this one is a box because it's not running yet and you probably still will implement this one in the next release um, and uh, delete an account is only a soft delete okay so the soft delete is actually you just you 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 delete but it doesn't remove completely from a database um, and this one is a limitation because you you, you need to know that you need to short out all case scenario before implement Thing, the hard delete if the customer wants so the hard delete when you delete an account it will remove all the related order that is a hard delete uh, but is um, it's very complex so you need to shot all possible case scenario before implement this one and the third one is plus screen may show for more than three seconds okay this one is also a limitation severity is minor so we have one two three four five six seven type of severity um, and you need to uh, set uh, design which severity is this and the note for this one is the time the load time uh, for the splashing usually depends on the internet connection because uh, that's when the mobile will check if the user is login or not uh, check the load it uh, so it depends on the internet con connection so it may be slower so that is uh yeah so this is the release note so the release note usually um will be uh need to be documented at the end of the screen because 
a, a sprint because normally at the end of a sprint you will uh, need to deploy a new version to the uh, um, customer so yeah so i hope you learned something new today uh and if you do play Godzilla in line surprise for my channel i really appreciate it and see you in the next video i will teach you about um the functional and uh un the non uh, functional and the non-functional requirements so stay tuned bye see you in the next video